When we think about the Stone Age we think of it as something that happened to early humanity. However, we are not the only species that have devised it. Archaeologists have discovered some genuinely spectacular stone tools in the West African rainforests, Brazil's woodlands, and Thailand's beaches. It isn't the craftsmanship that distinguishes them. In fact, a casual observer could have difficulty recognizing them as antique instruments. It's not even their age that makes them unique, they're only approximately as old as the Egyptian pyramids. The fact that these instruments were grasped by non-human hands, is what makes them noteworthy. Chimpanzees, macaques and capuchins used these stone tools. The locations where they were discovered are the start of a whole new field. Primate archaeology, based on the sites where they were discovered, is a fresh new discipline of science. The tools are rudimentary. A chimp or monkey stone hammer is scarcely a work of art, or on par with an old human hand axe in terms of beauty. However, that isn't the purpose. These monkeys have evolved into a civilization that uses stone-based technologies on a regular basis. They have thereby reached the Stone Age. Previously, biologists thought that we were the only species that used tools extensively a few decades ago. That is no longer the case. Many mammals, birds, fish, and even insects are increasingly aware that they can use objects in their surroundings as tools to make their lives easier. Many primates also use tools. In 2014, for example, a wild gorilla was reported to have used a twig to pluck ants out of a nest. Primates, on the other hand, rarely transform stones into tools. It's a mystery why great apes use stone tools so infrequently. However, it's possible that it has something to do with the fact that animals who spend a lot of time in and around trees don't have easy access to stones. It has been explained that plants are more common in primate habitats, but stones aren't. This means, that even if one of the group's more intelligent great apes starts utilizing stone tools, there aren't enough rocks for the custom to be copied and passed down down the generations. West African chimps, on the other hand, appear to have passed down their stone-based technology, which was used by them to crack open nuts, through many generations. This is because of a groundbreaking study in primate archaeology released in 2007. The notion behind normal human archaeology, is that through the artifacts we leave behind we are able to recognize human behavior. Small scuffs and markings, that a casual observer might disregard contain a wealth of information for a professional observer. A 4,300-year-old horizon rich in stone artifacts was discovered in the Ivory Coast rainforests down to a depth of around 1 meter. Some of the stone artifacts, have been crafted with a level of perfection that is unrivaled. Some of those stone items, were crafted with a level of perfection only humans could achieve. Others, on the other hand, showed marks that have suggested the tools had been used in a cruder way, as pounding tools for cracking open tough nuts, much like chimps in the area do today. These discoveries lead to an obvious conclusion, chimps in the Ivory Coast rainforests have been utilizing stone tools for at least 4,300 years. Chimpanzees are the nearest surviving relatives of humans. The fact that they, like us, can use stone tools suggests that chimps and humans shared a common ancestor who was the first to develop stone-based technology. The chimpanzee stone age in West Africa appears to be separate from the human stone age as they have been able to pass down their stone tools technology across generations. Don't forget to like and share, because that's what keeps us going. Stay tuned to Explified and we hope to see you in the next video.